It's hard. Jesus talks about how hard it is to follow him. And as much as I wish we could just make this so approachable, when I share the gospel with a person who isn't saved, I, I wish we could just leave it at, the, at the, the truth that, you know, God loves you the way you are. Because, it's, because that is so true. Grace is free. Grace is free in such a way that it, grace was not given to you based on anything you've done, based on anything you could do. Grace is free, but that doesn't mean grace is cheap. I'll say that again. Grace is free, but grace is not cheap. It came at the cost of our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. And in terms of following him, Jesus talks about how hard it is. Case in point, when he was encountered by the rich young ruler, where this guy comes to him and says, what is it going to take for me to have eternal life? And Jesus says, follow all the commandments. He's like, have you done these? This rich kid goes, yeah, we're good. And Jesus is like, oh yeah? Sell everything you have and follow me. What we find out is following Jesus, really following Jesus, means abandoning everything. But in abandoning everything and taking hold of him, we find out we have everything. The Christian worldview is hard. It's not something we're going to sugarcoat. The Christian worldview is one that is marked by freedom, but on this earth, it's, it's a worldview that is marked by struggle and by work. And that's what we invite you to. Struggle. Wrestle. Live in that tension. Don't pretend like it's not there. Don't hide in your homes. Don't hide in this church. Don't even hide in your Bible. Engage scripture. Engage culture. Bring glory to God's name by getting to know him more, but by also by loving people in such a way that you draw them closer to him. Don't be afraid of the hard work that's involved in this. Yes, there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of work. But he is so worth it. He's worth it. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, I'm such a mess. I'm such a mess that I, I don't even know half of what I said just now but I feel you moving within my heart and I hope that the things came out came from you. And I pray that if it came from you, we would leave here today with this lasting impression that you're leaving on us. And while I can't give anybody a tangible, practical um, takeaway from this sermon, Lord, I pray that we would engage you more in prayer and in scripture. And that we look to see how it is you're calling us to live as individuals, as a community, as a church. Also to those outside of us. And I pray that you'd give us the courage to take on the hard things that we're called to do. Because you're worth it. We love you. In the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor AJ. Let's continue our worship by uh, giving back to God uh, a portion of our, you know, for all the goodness that has been given to us. Okay. And while the ladies uh, gather this uh, morning's offerings, um, 
they'll be playing the piano. 